Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today will be a short update on my, now I call it 99.5% finished belt grinder, 2x72. And I made a, probably the shortest flat platen you have seen. That's all the aluminum I had, profile 50 by 50 millimeters and 5 millimeters thick. Uh, I did do some grinding outside. I will add that to the end or as the next segment. And uh, although it starts as a new video, anyway, um, what I also did, I made this. I still don't remember how you call this plate, but uh, anyway, I made one out of MDF, two piece because they're thinner. And. Uh, there you can see it did rub a little at the beginning and then I had to put another washer in there and that way I could take this out and do the edges and the, the small radiuses and of course I had to drill three holes actually this one if I have it in the upright position I can use it with the top two holes if I tilt it back 45 degrees I can use this hole and this hole and still have a platen so since not, I'm not going to use in this setup the bottom half, I'm okay with loosening two screws and uh, doing it, I mean repositioning it uh, till I get something longer that will fit in the whole space and then I don't have to do it anymore. So anyway, um, sometimes I do this also with CNC machines and... Uh, you cannot technically build a CNC machine without a CNC machine. So on my uh, big mill that I built like seven years ago, I used, uh, although those were 19 millimeter MDFs, and uh, for the end plates and whatnot, and then had the machine mill out its own parts, or machine its own parts, and then replace the MDF with aluminum. So anyway, that's a easy way to do it. If you have parts that you want to finish, I will also make another one for this uh, for this table here and mount that on. And then I can. Right now, it really has sharp corners here, and since I'm very limited in space inside, and have no way to put this machine any other way, well, storing it this way. Uh, I don't want to hit my head on these corners so that's that and the rest is the same I still have to bend and make the correct uh, angle or brackets uh, 90 degree brackets to mount the motor the motor is still only mounted by two screws but no problem and also this plastic wheel is getting better over time and uh, I don't know if it's going to be in this segment of the video where you can hear the machine running and it makes a stop, top 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 noise. That's actually from the Chinese belt because these are glued together very, very badly. They're overlapping and you can hear it. It makes that noise. It doesn't affect sanding much, but it makes that terrible noise. And with the other belts that I bought here, that's not the case. But right now I'm trying to use up these belts and then I will switch to better belts. Anyway, um, let me pause this video to put it on my table. Okay, I actually stopped the video because when I pause I forget which button to push to resume. Anyway, uh, this whole machine idea started, well, many, many years ago actually, but... Uh, since my car got damaged through hail, uh, I wanted to make these uh, so-called mad eye lips and these were the cardboard, left right, cardboard uh, templates and I had a rough cut of this aluminum, this is 2mm and I did, and then in the video you will see how I machine one of those, but it's not, or grind, not machine and uh, there's really not much to see there so anyway these are ready to be welded onto the hood i will have to 
that's why I also wanted to get the uh, belt rider finished because I want to have a 45 degree bevel here and here for easier and more secure welding as you might know uh, when you melt two metals butt on butt uh, you don't go um, like that 90 degree and go like that because then the weld would stick or would uh, be elevated would make a uh, whatever you call it here you would see it but if you grind them down 45 degrees on each side on both sides and then you weld them you have a larger surface area to weld and you can then uh, sand down the belt to the to this surface anyway metal people will know that um, these I still have to bend also this way so that I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna do I need something with a big radius and I don't want to hammer it on from this side because those that will leave marks that would be hard to get out so I have to find something concave is it concave well something like that and then hammer it from the back these the bags I did not send down yet so those will be sent down as well so I will have to hammer it from the back to not mar the surface when you see it from the top and since I'm uh, getting interested in making knives I did this I did design this tanto knife and um, with that one steel that I bought locally from a shop which is this and I maximized the size and cut this uh, designed this on Catsoft Eagle my go-to program with PCB design and whatever uh, needs to be designing even my CNC machines when I need parts and uh, that stands for TH1 stands for Tanto Hyri 1 so that's my first own knife design and since I had uh, that MDF I figured I make a wooden <laughs> a wood knife first before I screw it up so just to get me an idea how to hold it and whatnot I don't want I mean even though this was not very expensive I don't want to ruin it and waste it which might still happen but uh, I made this first and of course this is not finished yet and I don't know if I'm gonna finish this but just use it as an example for myself and as you can also see this was as thick as this and I did sand it down with the belt grinder and you can really sand down a large surface it's not 100% parallel but I just the idea was to sand it down not have it as thick as the handle and a uh, small quiz can you make handles out of my uh, of MDF of course not but this is just a test and uh, these screws is also just temporarily for this thing and on here I will actually uh, do the grinding the bevel grinding here on both sides and to see how I'm gonna work uh, with that obviously MDF grinds fast, much faster than steel but as I said this is just a test object so that's what I have so far for today I think and I will add that clip that I um, recorded outside um, not much to see I mean and also I'm not sure if you want to see me grinding down this to that um, as I'm of course I'm not a knife maker this will be my first knife it will well pseudo knife because I don't have a heat treat oven and uh, I have a torch I don't know if it's gonna be hot enough to do an edge, edge quench um, but for me I mean it's not like I'm gonna go out and use that knife I just want to learn and for the first one knife it will do I would think so anyway if you're interested if you have any questions about the machine uh, about this you will not um, just leave them in the comments I will gladly answer them and uh, to all the knife makers out there if you have any tips if I'm doing something 
really wrong please do let me know i'm also wasn't sure about this curve here because it might uh, squeeze your finger when you squeeze it so and also this handle might be too small uh, i wonder if there is a norm for handle length for you because i have pretty small hands and somebody with larger hands will not be able to hold this thing probably just get the first finger here and the two fingers here and the, the pinky finger will be somewhere here i don't know if there are people with that large of hands but if you do know uh, i never saw mention about minimum handle length if there is something like that if not i mean it's this is just for me just to try out first knife and if it fits my hand it's okay i make i might make serrations up here on the final product i don't know yet and i also will make a small contact wheel attachment for the belt grinder because right now this is of course too small i cannot do it correctly and uh, i will be able to just have a contact wheel probably 25 millimeters in diameter and be easily and be able to easily do this um, shape by just holding it to the grinder so anyway this is it um, yeah i took my belt grinder outside and uh, did the first uh, grinding of camera because i didn't know what i was doing so i didn't want to embarrass myself anyway these are my two templates that i made out of cardboard and i had the rough cut like this and this is how it looks like almost done uh, i will have to i will change the grid size of the belt a little lower right now it's 80 grain and uh, anyway this is the left part i think left so that's the original oh, the template and that's this part uh, so i will do the final closer to my car so i don't have to walk up to the car it has a slight curve here and it will have a slight curve here this one follows the hood of the car and this one follows it also the hood of the car obviously so now we will go from this to this not much to actually see i hope you don't get bored thing I forgot oh I see this video is gonna be shaky because I did mount the camera on the table so anyway bear with me I don't have any other way to make the video if you don't like it stop watching and uh, what I was mentioned is I do not have a platen here so I'm grinding against the belt like that that I wanted to mention and let's see how bad it gets actually uh, turn it on.
actually now I'm running into the holder of the camera um, anyway this is how I did the curve here and then the rest I just took took it the edge of the belt and got the smaller radius I will of course make extensions one will be um, how it's called the big wheel the contact wheel I think it's called so I'm gonna make extension for that uh, well I just have to make a holder that's gonna screw into the aluminum profile and I will make another one with a smaller radius so I can do tighter spaces like this and uh, this is not rust it's just dirt I have foil on here on where I marked the outline but as you see it's of course grinding I mean why would it not grind uh, this belt these are actually the Chinese belts that they were shorter and uh, like I said uh, it's 80 grain I was just wondering if I have it the wrong way on the belt uh, on the grinder but anyway well it's, it's not like I'm making a knife not yet uh, so I want to keep this video short to not bore you I might uh, add when I do the grinding on well, this is aluminum obviously easy peasy right so I have also the steel for the knife the blank and I might do that and then put the videos together to not bore you too much anyway this was it and I find another way to mount the camera so it's not shaky I don't know I have to watch it how bad it is maybe I don't even upload this one so anyway thanks for watching and if you would like to support it oh no I do that on the other part anyway till the second part of this part okay I will put this on the end of the video if you would like to support my channel Please do check out my Tindy store. Maybe you find something that you like and would like to buy it. I also have actually, uh, I did upgrade my CNC controller to a new USB chip. Now you can upload code to it without having to push the reset button. So it has auto reset and everything is uh, the same actually. Uh, don't fix what ain't broken. So. I will finish this up and my control as driver board and um, use my pick and place machine as a laser engraver engraver yes not cutter so anyway that's something else but also you can find these in my Tindy store uh, you can support me with via PayPal buy me a cup of coffee or a cup of tea 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 <laughs> tea German yeah and uh, you can also uh, hit that um, thanks button and also please if you would not mind hit the like button if you like it of course it doesn't cost you anything it's free and you might also subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos that I will make and um, you can also become a patreon if you like uh, I have currently five patreons and would be nice if i get one or two more anyway thanks for watching and take care everybody